What's up, everyone, and welcome to Movie Emporium. Uh, before we begin, please hit that subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell top to find out what's coming next, and a comment below on any video that you watch on my channel. Okay, so I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, coronavirus is still in the mix, uh, but everything apparently is going to be opening. So it's a real weird time right now. What I wanted to talk about and it has been circulating for quite a while now is the whole Universal NATO, which is the North American Theater Organization, has been kind of uh, at each other's throats. I mean, they uh, the NATO feels like they've been used and kind of abused by Universal for the fact that Universal put out Trolls World Tour uh, on the VOD and kind of gave them like a 20 minute notice that they were doing it, which is a little, mess, a little messed up when you're in league with NATO who were putting out your films, which is making money. It's all about money and so on and so forth. So as we know, uh, Tro Trolls World Tour made a lot of money, uh, according to uh, I'm doing everything from Hollywood Reporter. Uh, basically, it made 116, no, 153.7 million dollars. Uh, it's right, right here, uh, and Canada. It's not adjusted for inflation, of course. Blah blah. blah. Um, the biggest thing about this is, is because NATO and all that good stuff were involved with this whole fiasco. Uh, Jeff Shell, who is the CEO, this is him right here. Uh, basically he, uh, trumpeted the sales, which, you know, is fine. If you're, you know, doing that kind of thing, you know, that's what movie theaters want and stuff like that. And, uh, he, uh, basically spat in the face of every, uh, organization, including AMC, Regal, Cinemark, NATO, all that good stuff. And it leads to a big problem because you are basically biting the hand that feeds you. And uh, they're trying to have their cake and eat it too as well. And the reason that this story is kind of important is because Universal is going to start putting films on VOD, at least until the theaters open. And The King of Staten Island, which is Pete Davidson, Joe Apatow film is going to be on VOD. They're starting to show that they don't really care or they really don't feel like they need the theater system, even though they made $153 million, which is a profit. But, you know, when you put a movie in the theaters, it's going to make extra profit. So it makes sense to do that kind of thing. So him doing that, him saying that, him becoming, you know, the big chief, you know, uh, stuff like that. It's like, you know, it's really kind of messed up. And if you think about it. And the theater owners are upset. I mean, they obviously have to be upset because they're basically being screwed over by Universal. With that said, there is another news story which makes me kind of laugh. Now, this is a big story because AMC, the world's largest theater chain, uh, refuses to play any Universal film in the wake of Trolls World Tour. Now, that is insane because if we go over to the picture slate for this year... Um, of course, everything's been kind of pushed back, but we got, for instance, like I said, King of Staten Island is going to VOD, uh, The Purge movie, uh, whatever this event film is, Candyman, Halloween Kills, which is going to be huge. Whatever these films are, I, I, there's not really any information. The Croots 2, uh, News of the World, which is a Tom Hanks new movie. Um, of course, Fast and Furious 9, Boss Baby, Jurassic World Dominion, Minions, Bad Guys. Halloween ends. I mean, this is a huge slate of movies. And then, of course, look at the future and stuff like that. But AMC has refused to basically show Universal's movies. Now, that is a big deal. That is going to be an interesting kind of dichotomy of what happens now with this situation. Is there going to be a kind of um, a reconciliation? Is there going to be something that will be truly affected by this is this going to completely de like dishevel the whole entire industry um or the, i mean what's going to happen it's really crazy because when you look at films like you know fast and furious 9 they make billions of dollars just in the theater and then you have that vod market which is like you know another four or five hundred million dollars or depending on how what the film is and the fact that AMC, the world's largest uh distributor of uh, films and theaters is not going to show your movies you're going to have to kiss some ass. You're going to have to eat some crow. And uh, whether Jeff Shell, the CEO of NBC Universal, does that, I don't know. But my God, like, you know, one movie is literally upending the whole entire theater slate of Universal because Universal got greedy and that's stupid. I mean, look at movies like Scoob. Look at movies like, uh, um, what was the other movie that's coming out? Uh, 
Yeah, Scooby, Scooby's, of course, doing the VOD thing, but they gave him enough information and enough leeway to do that kind of thing. But, oh, Artemis Fowl, which was going to bomb anyways. But I just, you got to wonder at what point are these people going to understand that there are still people that go to the theater. There are still people that want that experience. And when you're screwing over the people that actually are uh, willing to show your product, willing to get your product money, taking a such small cut in that product, and you're just basically going over it. It's like if um, Xbox or Sony, in essence, went past GameStop and stopped distributing product through GameStop. I mean, yeah, it's going to happen at some point. I mean, there's going to be at some point where the theater thing is going to be a niche thing where, you know, you're going to see small theater chains show movies, but most of that stuff is going to be in a VOD or digital, just the way things are going. But, you know, what would happen if, for instance, you know, Christopher Nolan's Tenet, who's a big proponent for the movie theater industry, uh, or at least movie theaters in general, decided to put his movie on VOD and give him like five minutes war warning. I mean, yes, the movie would make a lot of money, but Christopher Nolan is biting the, you know, like I said, biting the hand that feeds him in Warner Brothers as well. And that's why I think Warner Brothers with Scoob and Disney with Artemis Fowl at least made the, made the uh, smart decision to kind of talk to NATO, talk to these people, talk to the distributors, talk to the theater owners and stuff like that about this problem because the coronavirus has become a huge problem, especially in the market. I mean, it's just the way it is. And unfortunately, the theaters at this point are not even going to be open until July anyways because the next big movie is Christopher Nolan's Tenet. I mean, it's just it's pretty crazy to think about. I mean, Mulan got pushed to July. And I just think that these... I, I think Joe Fithian, who's the CEO of NATO, is correct. Um, it's an immersive experience going to the theater. Um, I think if they had handled this better, I mean, there are shows that I watch on YouTube that explain it better than I can about how you gotta, you gotta be smart about your decision making and smart about your distributing, especially in films or music or anything, anything in general. I mean, Amazon, I mean, you could go to Amazon, you could go to every type of thing imaginable. And when you're basically screwing over the people that have gotten you to where you are, you're basically ruining the whole idea of the message of just, you know, what it's like to go to a theater, what it's like to just do anything. And I don't know what, I don't know what the people at Universal are thinking. Uh, I never really had an interest in Troll World Tour anyways, which was probably going to be a big thing. I get the idea of putting on VOD, the idea of, you know, have a family pay 20 bucks to watch your movie instead of paying 100 bucks. But think about that. The family pays 100 bucks at the theater. And that's, I think about how much money is going towards the, to the movie, the movie uh, company itself, like Universal. And just them doing this is, is really shady. It's not a very well practiced thing. You know, it's a very shady practice thing. And it's starting to show that these companies really want that, you know, shortened window, which is what, you know, these companies uh, like AMC and Regal and all, they don't want that because one, they're going to lose money. And two, it's, you know, with the way the TV market is going now, the way, you know, the TVs like the um, OLEDs and stuff like that are getting really cheap, you know, um, the big theater systems and stuff like that, it becomes harder and harder to make these films. But you still have to present these films in the theater because people still go to the theaters to see these movies. And it just, it sucks. I mean, it really does. But, you know, NBC Universal is going to do what they do. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see if there's any kind of makeup with this, if they get, you know, give a big hug or a big handshake if jeff shell kind of finds a way to make it right which i don't know if he's going to do but just think about for instance like fast and furious 9 or halloween kills or um jurassic world dominion or minions not being in like a lot of theaters think about you having to go to like a regal or cinemark and let's see what they do let's, let's say you can't even watch the film because there's no way to project it in the theater because they're refusing to do it I mean, that's going to hurt Universal. Universal's in a, in a tight spot right now, and the fact that he's beating the drum, beating his chest with this whole, we made $153 million, that's well and good, but think about the people that you're going to you're gonna affect in the long run, especially with the theaters. And maybe everything will work itself out. It usually does in this kind of industry as it is. Um, but yeah, I miss going to the theater. Like, this is a big, you know, issue. And the fact that, you know... 
it'd be interesting to see if we were in another alternate dimension with you know theaters open and no coronavirus how much trolls world tour probably would have made it probably still would have made more on vod but you know just when, when you have somebody that you rely on and then you go behind their and behind their back look at nintendo and playstation i mean that's another kind of great you know idea where nintendo and playstation were working together and nintendo decided to go do their own thing without telling playstation and or sony and sony went and created the playstation which is now one of the world leaders in gaming so i mean this kind of stuff happens but it's a very greedy practice it's a very shifty practice and uh it shouldn't be really allowed in any form of industry of, in general you know, work with the people that help you and respectful. If you're not going to show Trolls War Two or in the theater, at least give some time and effort, you know, to not showing it and, you know, putting on VOD, give some kind of compensation. I don't know. These, the entertainment industry is such a weird thing. It's such a weird dichotomy of nonsense that, you know, when you sit here and you watch these types of things happen, you're just like scratching your head. It's like you're, you're screwing the customer over, you're screwing yourself over. And for what? Because a movie can't play in the theater right now. OK, work some deal out, you know, give it, you know, give some money to NATO. I, I don't know. I'm not the like the the guy, that does the money guy or whatever, but I just do something to make this right. Because I do want to see Fast and the Furious and Jurassic World as much as I really didn't like the last Jurassic World. In the theaters because I think that's where they play best, and I am a little sad that Kings of King of Staten Island is not going to be in the theaters. But I uh, I was really excited for that film. But I'm, you know, I'll I'll rent it when it comes out on VOD because it was on my you know top anticipated list. So, but yeah, that's it. That is uh, it in a nutshell. AMC is refusing to show Universal movies for the time being. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, hit the uh, comments below. Tell me what you think of this story. Do you uh, agree? Do you disagree? Uh, do you even go to the theaters anymore? I know a lot of people who don't uh, are uh, big movie f cinephiles because it's just the nature of the industry. But anyways, hit that subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification button at the top to find out what's coming next. And uh, comment below on any video that you watch on my channel. Otherwise, see you guys on the next video. Peace out. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out Movie Emporium. I really appreciate it. If you want to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button and the bell at the top. Find out what's coming next for Movie Emporium. Also, check out these two videos. They're amazing. I think they're awesome. I think you'll enjoy them too. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.